Looking at the Poco M4 5G and the Poco M5 5G, you cannot deny the huge similarities between these two. Like for instance, the design being almost a one for one, with the only outside change being that extra 2 megapixel sensor. Heck, you can even swap the cases between these two and it will be a perfect fit for the buttons and the cutouts. The only difference is that extra camera as stated. But more of the difference between these two are basically the internals. Those have a little bit of a difference here. So let's discuss and compare the camera and speed of the two because well, most of the difference is in that and not much outside. So the specs. The Poco M4 5G comes with the Dimensity 700, where the Poco M5 5G comes with the Helio G99. When it comes to memory and RAM, the Poco M4 5G comes with two versions. You either get 64GB or 128GB. Same goes for the Poco M5 5G, but there is a difference in terms of RAM. With the Poco M5 also having the 128GB version with 4GB of RAM, where the Poco M4 5G only has 128GB and of course then the 6GB of RAM. I don't see why you would want the 128GB version with 4GB of RAM, but that is the difference between these two. Then there is the camera, well the main camera. The Poco M4 5G is a 13 megapixel sensor with an aperture of 2.2, where the Poco M5 5G has a 15 megapixel sensor with a 1.8 aperture. And of course we also have that extra macro sensor on the Poco M5 5G, but honestly I don't really care between those two. There is however no difference in video recording, both are limited at 1080p and 30 frames per second. In terms of Bluetooth however, the Poco M4 5G has Bluetooth 5.1, where on the Poco M5 5G it's Bluetooth 5.3. So does that make any difference in day to day experience? Well simply put, there isn't a huge difference. The noticeable difference between the two in terms of experience is that the Poco M5 5G is a tad faster. Not much, it's just a little bit faster. But not with speeds where it makes a huge difference in day to day experience overall. Now the bigger difference however is the camera performance. And yes the Poco M5 5G without a doubt does it better. The Poco M4 5G in general isn't impressive in terms of camera. And you would say that the Poco M5 5G isn't impressive either, but what can you expect for the price really? So let's show some difference. The main thing I notice is in general the dynamic range is clearly better on the Poco M5 5G. There's a bit more detail in the sky itself compared to what you get on the Poco M4 5G. But also a difference in color profile. The Poco M5 is brighter but also less warm. But mostly in some shots it's very noticeable that you get far less grain and far more detail and proper focus on the Poco M5. Look for instance at this shot. There's a clear difference in colors but also in terms of sharpness and details. The Poco M5 simply performs better here. Sometimes though I will say that the more warm look has my preference. But it really depends on the shot itself. But in turn, the Poco M5 simply has better focus. In some shots it's actually quite noticeable in terms of difference between these two. And yes, it can make a big difference. Look at this shot for instance. You can clearly see that the Poco M5 has that better focus in the general picture itself. Where the Poco M4 seems to have like a soft experience over it. And the focus seems to be hunting around the shot itself. It isn't really clear on what part of this shot the Poco M4 is focusing. Alright, Poco M4 versus of course the Poco M5, both 1080p, because they are limited at that. Seems that the Poco M5 is a bit brighter and a bit more saturated. Let's look at focus. Simply put, the camera is quite a bit better on the Poco M5 5G. And if these two are sold at the same price, without a doubt, I would advise the Poco M5 5G over the Poco M4 5G. The slight difference in speed, similar battery experience, which is actually something that I feel like both of them are excellent in, and just a better main camera makes this pick pretty easy. Even though the Poco M5 is cooler in terms of that main camera, it just has so much more details. 
Again though, if you buy an entry phone, you always have to ask yourself, do I go for a phone like this? Because simply put, if you spend a little bit more, you can get phones like the Poco M5s or the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro. Those phones without a doubt I would prefer over either of these. I think the design for both of these is quite nice actually, for the price itself especially it looks like a phone that is worth a bit more than you are paying for it. But also without a doubt, if it comes to the price itself and you can spend that little bit more, I would definitely advise it. But if you pick between these two, without a doubt, it's an easy pick for me. The Poco M5 5G wins it over the Poco M4 5G, especially when it comes to set camera. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this short comparison between the two, showcasing what is the strength for both of these and in terms of what really matters in day to day life. Both of these are fine devices, but I don't think any of these is really my pick when it comes to an entry phone. The Poco M5s is definitely without a doubt a phone I would advise over these, especially because of the display itself being much brighter and of course allowing a better experience in day to day life because of that. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, talk to you guys in the next.